We are going to look at the selection tools a little bit more. We're going to have fun with this, so we're going to take pictures of ourselves, get our backgrounds, kind of like we've done in the past, but we're going to use a couple of different tools as well. So, first thing you want to do is go into Photoshop, and the uh, dialog will pop up. I, in fact, have this here, so graphic file types. Just for reference, we're going to take our photos today. Uh, we're going to, they're going to be camera raw. We're going to save them as JPEGs of ourselves. We're going to create a PSD file, edit that project, save it in the project files folder, and then all said and done, when we're done, we're going to create a JPEG of all of our different layers, and we're going to save that into edits. So first we take our photos, that goes into raw, we save them as JPEGs, we open a new, which we're going to do in a second, and we edit in a PSD project file, and then all said and done, what's going in the NAS is a JPEG that we're going to save to the edits. So let's go over here, file new. You can also go to create new, but just got to get to this. We're going to do uh, print this time, and we're going to do letter. Letter is eight and a half inches by 11. We're actually going to flip this. So the orientation is going to be instead of portrait, it's going to do landscape. You just click this little button right here. 300 pixels per inch resolution is good. We're going to change this to transparent background, and we're off. We're going to hit create. It's going to open up this. So now we have this. First thing we want to do is we're, we've taken our pictures, and actually, if I go here and I go to local, you can see that I've already created my folders. So uh, it's 2021-11-08 selection tools. Inside of there, I took my uh, pictures of myself, and I have this picture. So we're going to bring in that in in a second. Uh, first, I want you to find a background. So how do we do that? We go to Firefox or uh, Chrome or whatever your browser is, and we're going to look up a background. In this case, in this case, I'm going to look up Coliseum. Go to Images, and Remember, we want the highest possible resolution, so tools, size, large. Now I can find a picture here. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to take, uh, let's say this one, kind of perspective where I can use myself. So uh, it's a little small, but that's okay. Right click, copy, go back to Photoshop, and Command V or Apple V is paste. I'm going to name this right here, Coliseum. And when I have it selected, I can press Command T, that's Apple T or Command T, and then I can bring it up to size here. Press Return or Enter to cement that. So I have my Coliseum layer, here's my background layer. I have to bring in now my picture. I'm going to go to File place embedded and from here I can navigate to where I actually took those uh, pictures of myself in here in raw and this JPEG and I'm going to put myself over here you can see that I'm missing the bottom in the side over here so I'm going to probably have to put it right here and I'm going to press return so this is great, but again, I have this, this gray all around me. I actually took this near the projector. We want a, we want a background that is really uh, unified in color here, so I, I recommend using that projector. Next, I want you to take a look at some of these tools. This is the kind of meat of the uh, tutorial here. The first one I, get, I have right here is called the rectangular marquee. I also have all these other marquee tools. This is going to, when you kind of click this, this is going to take out squares or circles, really simple shapes. Notice when I press delete, it says could not complete your request because a smart object is not directly editable. You're going to run into this a lot. In fact, uh, to deselect to command D, that's because this little symbol shows that it's a smart object. How do we get around that? We right click and rasterize layer. 
again. I'm going to show you that one more time. Right click, rasterize layer. That compresses the layer. It makes it a little bit more editable, but it also puts it into, uh, it takes uh, away a couple of things that we can do. For our purposes, you're just going to right click, rasterize layer, and now you'll notice when I go in here, that layer is going to be editable. Again, deselect is command D. So we have the ability to make these kind of really rudimentary shapes. How about the lasso tool? So if we go in here, right click, we have the lasso tool, uh, polygonal lasso tool, and magnetic lasso tool. So lasso tool is basically lets you do a freeform shape. If you hold, let click, and you start going around, you can take shapes out like that. If I have my uh, polygonal, polygonal, I don't know how you say it, uh, lasso tool, you can actually left click and you can make these kind of cool geometric shapes. That's going to take your things out. Or you can have magnetic lasso tool, one of my favorites, and what that's going to do is you left click and you start to kind of outline the shape over here and it kind of just traces around whatever your subject is. Now, say you mess up, you go like this, like, uh-oh. You can escape this by pressing the escape key, okay? But you can use this to kind of go around and get shapes like that, okay? So we have our marquee tools for really simple shapes. We can then trace around things with our lasso tools. These ones are probably the ones that you're going to use the most. So this is, we kind of are familiar with this one, Magic Wand, but there's also Object Selection Tool. So what that's going to do is you kind of have this uh, square. It's going to try to get whatever, from whatever you kind of put within that rectangle, it's going to try to give you an object, not my not my favorite tool. Um, what I like is quick selection and magic wand. So quick selection is kind of like a paintbrush here. You can see that you can make it larger or smaller up here. And you can just kind of start to paint in and it immediately got it. Problem is it got my hand right here and a little bit of my eye right here. The nice thing about working with these tools is that you can add and subtract to the selection. So right now, you see that little plus sign? If I hold option, it turns into a minus sign. And then I can just kind of click around on areas that I want to get back into from my from my previous selection, okay? So uh, magic wand tool, it's gonna be one click and it's gonna get that. Now, remember, your tolerance is the key right here. So. If we set our tolerance too high, it's going to get a lot of stuff. So I'm going to put this at 25. Try that again. And now I have a nice uh, selection here. Probably got to get a little bit right here. If I want to add from a selection with uh, Magic Wand, Shift is Add. And if I want to subtract, again, it's Option. But you can combine these two. So I just did that with Magic Wand. Now I'm going to just get a little bit of the hair, get that out of there. I'm going to hold option, get that hand back right there, get that face back, and that looks pretty good. I'm going to delete, and your best friend, deselect, command D again, and now that's looking pretty good, right? If you want to clean up things without doing selection, this is where I recommend using your eraser tool. So your eraser tool is right here. Again, anytime you have options for a tool, they're going to come up uh, over here. I'm going to increase this just to make it a little bigger. And I can see that there is a little line right here. I'm going to delete that line. And probably a little bit in there. Plus, command plus sign to zoom in. And it looks like there's a little piece right here. Come in, you can see that there's a line right here and a little bit on my sleeve. So, just getting a little bit of that, roughing it out a little bit. And there was a line that I can see up here. So, now that I have this, I look looks looks pretty good to me. I can add different layers and stuff. 
uh, but we're ready to save, file, save as. Now, we the first thing that you want to do is you want to save this project file. The project file is the thing that actually has the layers right here. So the layers, this is going to be something that you can go back and edit. So we're going to call this selection tools, your name. And we're going to save this into the project files folder as a Photoshop. Okay, so Photoshop document, we can come back, we're going to have all the layers, and we are all set. You can hit don't show again. This is just saying maximize compatibility. After you save it as a Photoshop file, what you're going to do is you're going to go file, save as, same type of, same type of deal, but this time we're going to go into your edits folder. We're going to go to format, and we're going to change that to JPEG. Before we were on Photoshop, that was our project file. Now, the last thing, the thing that you're actually going to save and put in the NAS is a JPEG. Save that to your edits folder. Hit save. The quality is 12. Don't worry about any of these other things. And then hit OK. After you do that, you can save it into the folder in the NAS.